Good evening, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. My name is Holly Marion Brinkman, and this is a woman's guide to peeing outside. Everything you're about to hear is entirely true, and it all starts 3,500 meters above sea level on a snow-capped mountain in the winter of 2010. For one season after graduating university, I worked as a dishwasher and caretaker at a remote ski lodge in the Selkirk Mountains. It wasn't, you know, romantic or anything in the dish pit, but every Friday I got a ski day. It was all backcountry, all untracked powder, all the time. Heaven. But the ski days were really long. From around 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., you'd be out on the mountain. So you walk this very fine line between dehydration and only drinking enough water so you just have to pee the once on the mountainside. You find a spot partway down a run between two trees but within shouting distance of your ski buddy. You tamp down your skis a few times and make a rough platform. Never make the mistake of taking your skis off otherwise you will sink up to your armpits in the snow. You plant your poles and you put your mittens on the ends. You take off your coat and you hang it on your planted poles. You peel down your bib snow pants, followed by fleece pants, long johns, and finally underwear. <laughs> Ski boots are great for squatting in because you can lean way back without tipping over. But make sure your skis are not on an incline, otherwise you will start sliding backwards midstream. The whole process takes about 10 minutes to undress, set up, pee, and get dressed again. You're always hoping that it doesn't take you so long that your ski guide comes looking for you and finds you butt out. <laughs> Thanks everyone, that's a woman's guide to peeing outside.